This is Jordan Stauber with In World Captured back again, finishing off the introduction to After Effects CS6. And we basically went through pretty much everything, um, different like uh, cutting your layers up and clipping them together, some keyframes, a uh, little bit of adjustment layers, and importing footage and making new compositions and all the basic stuff. And we're just going to finish it off by making a little clip and then rendering it out because that's the only thing we're missing is rendering your videos. And then after this tutorial, I will be making a premiere introduction. And then after that, switching off between some After Effects advanced tutorials and, and some filmmaking techniques and whatever. You don't care about that anyways. Let's continue on with this tutorial. So we're going to import some footage. And we always do just some clips and we're going to wait a second till they import. I'm just going to open this comp I had made a long time ago, I made a little bit ago. And we have this, so we have the text coming in, blah, 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 blah. And let's say you just made your own little clip because you didn't make the same click as me because obviously you don't have these videos anyways so we have i put in a little bit sound here oh yeah i think i talked a little bit about sound in my in the first tutorial basically sound just works as a normal layer you just put it in and and just adjust it to the place you want you can add some you can like put it in the right spot using the waveform here or just double clicking l and waveform will come up double clicking L while selecting the layer you want and sound just works the basically the same way as video I mean there's not much you could do with sound in After Effects I mean there's a few sound effects for audio not much I don't recommend working sound so much in After Effects um, that's more for Premiere and other stuff other sound programs which I will be covering hopefully in the time coming Anyways, you could just turn off your sound here. And I put the sound in, so I'm just going to leave it in. So we have our video that you want to render out. Um, depending on what you made, it doesn't matter how long it is. So you're just going to go up here and you're going to go to composition. Add to render queue. Now, when you render your video, there's a lot of different settings you can do by clicking this. We'll bring up your video settings and then the output module, whatever, different stuff. So basically, I'm just going to show you the way I do it. Best, yes, full, yes, uh, blah, 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 blah. This doesn't matter. Make sure this is on so you're using your composition's frame rate. All this doesn't really matter. Just leave it on the default and then you come in here. Now, this is where you change a few things. I would recommend following what I do here because I find this works pretty good. You do format H.264. Channels, millions of color, pre-multiplied, yes, yes. Audio output, make sure that's checked because that, if you have audio, my bad. If you don't have any audio, don't worry about that. Um, but the default is that that is not checked. This is all good. Um, let's go to format options. Um, if you want it to be clearer, you can just do eight here, eight here. Yes. Um, level clearest if you want it to be very clear. Um, all this is good. The audio doesn't really matter that much. Yes, yes. So all this stuff is pretty simple if you just follow... And there's other tutorials on YouTube on advanced rendering and stuff. I'm going to make one on advanced rendering. There isn't really that much to it, though. You just have to pick a setting that you like and just always do it like that, basically. Um, so, okay, all of this. And then you just go here and you choose the place you want to do it in. Let's just say we want to do it on our desktop, whatever. And you just call it whatever you want. I'll just call it test. And click save and you just click render and it will render it out now depending on how clear it is and stuff 
and how many effects you have is depending on how long it will take. There's not so much to this, so it's going to go fast. A little trick. If you want it to go faster, you click the caps lock button, and it will stop the preview. Now you're wondering, why would I do this? Now I can't see it, but it does save RAM, which is your memory, and it does make it go faster. So I recommend doing that, especially if you're doing something long. And we basically went over everything in After Effects. So subscribe and check out my other channel, World Captured, for our official videos and more tutorials coming. And remember, just play around with everything in After Effects. I didn't really get into masking yet. And basically, masks just work over here, either this tool, and you mask out what you want in the layer. There's a lot of advanced things in masks. You will use them all the time. I will be making a tutorial on masks and rotoscoping over here and all the different stuff and maybe and getting into 3D objects and more advanced effects and a lot of advanced stuff in the After Effects advanced tutorial section where I'm going to be making. And let's just watch the video we made. Make sure it rendered out all good. Should be here. So yeah, we made our first video and hopefully you guys have your own video that you made and just continue about what I was saying. Just play around with everything in After Effects. Subscribe for the advanced After Effects tutorials and really, it's really important that you learn Premiere. So I recommend getting it however you can and i'm going to be doing a whole premiere tutorial next so watch those and you can work together with after effects of premiere and all works good and thank you for watching jordan stauber in world captured subscribe twitter at world captured facebook.com slash world captured peace out